Hey, what's going on everybody? DroidLife.com. Uh, what we're going to bring you today is just a quick video on the new launcher that has come out that sort of looks like the HTC Sense UI slash the Nexus One 2.1 app drawer. So this just came out from All Droid again, and we've got this posted over at the blog, which is droid-life.com, and we've got a couple download links there, and this is an APK file which you can install right onto your Droid without having to root it. Um, as you'll notice, as I'm flipping through here, we got five screens again, just like we do with that other 2.1 launcher, and then the actual launcher itself just looks slightly different, and you can see down here, it's kind of got that Sense UI feel to it. You can, got, you can make a phone call really quick just by hitting that button, or you can go to your browser right here just by hitting that button down there. So very nice features there. <clears throat> and then you'll also know the app drawer. It says apps and it's got that sort of four squared off box kind of feeling just like the Nexus 2.1 app drawer didn't if you hit it it pulls up your 3D app drawer you know with the 3D fade into the background up top and at bottom. Um, so far this one functions pretty well, looks actually a little bit better than the uh, first 2.1 launcher that was ported over, so it's definitely worth checking out, um, especially since we're kind of in limbo and getting delayed on our actual 2.1 update from Verizon and Motorola, and we still really have no idea if we're going to even get this 3D app drawer. So anyway, it's pretty cool. Um, some of the bugs that we used to notice in the other 2.1 app drawer were <clears throat> if you slid your keyboard open, didn't really function correctly. And I'll show you this one. It does look slightly tweaked out. You can see the buttons up here flip. So they tried to fix it, but it doesn't work completely well. Um, you can still flip, well, earlier I was anyway, flipping back and forth. Let's try this one more time. There we go. So you can still flip back and forth. You no longer have those little buttons in the corner, and they didn't work anyway on that app drawer. So you should be fine with just flipping. Um, we can still hit this button up here and get to our browser and we can also hit this button down here and sort of lets us make a phone call it looks a little funky <clears throat> and then we can still get to our app drawer which looks a little tweaked out but you know it still functions at least it functions better than the other one and you can still tap on an application and it'll get you to that application so from there we can go ahead and close it and it should load us right back up into that and I actually had to hit the home key down there again the last time to get this to work to let me flip again. So, you know, it's slightly buggy. Like I said, you no longer have those buttons down there that you can flip back between screens on or you can't do that long press and get your little cards. But you can still, you know, mess around and it definitely works much better than that first 2.1 launcher. And then I don't know if you can see down here, you can see these little balls. See if I flip screens, you see those little balls moving back and forth. So that's kind of a counter as far as your five screen. So, I don't know, pretty cool stuff. And if you want to get this, it's like I said, it's at our blog, droid-life.com. And uh, we got instructions over there in the APK file. And you can download this straight on your phone without rooting it. Any questions, leave them in the comments at the YouTube channel or at the blog. As always, droid-life.com. Peace.